we're going to work on this very simple crocheted edging. I like it because it's neat and tailored and not too fussy. But the other thing I like about it that you're going to like about it too is that it doesn't require a specific stitch multiple. This one works no matter how many stitches you have and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is on a knit block but it also works on crochet so we're going to go ahead and do our little lesson here on a crochet block. Now whether I'm working in a knit block or a crochet block, the first thing I'm going to do is put a base round of single crochet or row. This works in rows also. And for the sake of this granny square, I'm putting one single crochet in each double and I'm putting one single crochet in each chain one space because I know from experience that what's, that is what works for me. Um, there is a whole bunch of math involved if you want to do it for a knit project and if you're interested in that topic let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on that for you guys. The most important thing you have to remember on this if you're working in the round is that you want to put an odd number of stitches in each corner because it helps the piece lay flat. The number of odd stitches you want to put is based on the height of the stitch you're working in. So since I'm working on single crochet, which is a very short stitch, I'm only going to put three in the corner. But I'm going to finish my round putting three single crochets in each corner, one single crochet in each double, and one single crochet in each chain one space. So I'm coming up at the end of my round. I'm going to join the round in the first single crochet and then my next round, I'm going to keep going in the same direction, is a half double crochet. Now I like to chain two for my first stitch and that is going to count as a stitch and I know that my next stitch is a corner because I have one, two, three in the same spot so the center one of that three is going to be my corner stitch. Now half double crochet is sort of dealer's choice. Depending on the height of your stitch in your gauge you can either put two, uh, pardon me, you can either put three in the corner or five. For me personally I like three but you want to make sure that your piece is laying flat. So if it's pulling too tightly, you might want to go to five. If you put in five and it's wiggling a little bit, you might want to go back to three. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this round, putting one half double crochet in each single crochet and three half double crochets in each corner single crochet. And I know that it is the corner single crochet because it's the center stitch of the three in a row that I put in each corner. Here we are at the end of the half double crochet round and I'm going to join that with a slip stitch in the top of my beginning chain two. That is the end of round two. I'm going to chain two to start round three and to get that nice little ridge stitch I'm going to turn my work. So the first two rounds we went in the same direction and for the third round we turned. Now we're going to work a half double crochet in the horizontal bar, sometimes called the third bar. And there is a video here on that technique. And my yarn had a knot on it, which is why it looks wonky right there. Of course, in the exact worst spot. But instead of going in the top under the two legs of that stitch, I'm going to go bottom to top under the vertical bar. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through three. Yarn over for my half double, go into the next stitch. I'm working in the third bar or the horizontal bar. I'm bringing my hook from bottom to top under just that one strand of yarn. Yarn over and draw it through. Yarn over, draw through three. And I'm going to do this. So what happens is the top of the stitch where we would normally work rolls away from us and gives us this cool little ridge. And that's what gives us the ridged edging on the front of the work. But we have to turn the work to get at that vertical bar, or horizontal bar, rather. So I'm up to my corner stitch, and there is my horizontal bar. I have two choices here. Now, if I'm putting this edge on an entire blanket or throw, I may, at this point, I may not put the extra stitches in the corner because I might want a rounded edge. As you can see here, see how that's kind of rounded instead of squared? That's because I did not put extra stitches on the corner on my final row. If I wanted to 
I don't know, keep going, uh, maybe add a different kind of edging, or if I wanted a pointier, say I was doing small blocks like this, and I wanted a sharper corner to make sure that when I joined, I could uh, see what I was doing, then I would put three or five half double crochets in the same vertical bar. So I would continue to work in the vertical bar. I would not go in the top of the stitch, but I put my additional stitches there and then I'm just going to keep going. Let's take a look at the front real quick. You can see our ridge developing and coming around the corner. So I'm going to finish this round and we'll take one more quick look. And there we are. We have our little ridge that goes all the way around the block or the whole blanket if you're doing a blanket. And once again, it does not matter how many stitches you do this over. You do not have to fudge and fight to get to a specific stitch multiple. And you have a nice edging to finish off. Or again, if you're doing small blocks and you want to sew things together, we have a nice uh, visible corner in here. At least we will do after we block it. And uh, it's just a very simple edging to have in your little bag of tricks. And it's not fussy and lacy. A lot of people like a more tailored edging because they're more durable. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let me know. What do you think? Do you need this uh, putting crochet on knitting information? Let me know and I'll make you a video. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.